Hey guys and welcome back to Xbox On. Gaming and movies are an explosive combination, just like, say, Godzilla vs Kong. So if this year's long-awaited face-off between two mythic icons has got you in the mood for some epic cinematic thrills, then look no further than this awesome collection of movie-related Xbox games. Today's video is brought to you by Godzilla vs Kong in US theatres and on HBO Max on March 31st, available on premium video on demand services from April 1st here in the UK. So get your popcorn ready, switch off your phone, unless you're watching on it obviously, and be ready to leave your comments down below on what you think of our list. Lights, controller, action! And Bex, what better place to start than with the big guy himself, Mr. Kingsley Kong. Years before he was getting ready to scrap with Godzilla, Kong's epic story was retold by all-star director Peter Jackson, you know, the Lord of the Rings one. And that movie came with a pretty excellent video game on the Xbox 360. Playing as both the titular ape and explorer Jack Driscoll, this survival action game abandons you in the lush, albeit somewhat deadly scenery of Skull Island and leaves you to fight your way out. Throw in some superb voice acting and you've got a game that fully captures that blockbuster feel, which you can still play now via Xbox backwards compatibility. Plus, if you're not monkey around when it comes to your gamer score, it also features a lot of very quick, very achievable achievements. In truth, we could do an entire video just about Star Wars Xbox games, but here are a handful of our top choices to get you started. All of these titles touch on the main series of films in different ways, without being direct adaptations of any particular movie. Knights of the Old Republic is ideal for those who are steeped in Star Wars lore, and want to pick their own path through its vast and varied galaxy. Jedi Fallen Order is better for anyone who likes a more action-packed adventure, and it's currently on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate as part of EA Play's inclusion with the subscription. But for those who are all about X-Wings and dogfights, you can't beat Squadrons. All three games have been enhanced for Xbox One X, rendering every lightsaber, blade and blaster shot in beautiful 4K. And Squadrons has also been upgraded to a Kessel Run crushing 120 FPS on the Xbox Series X. Turns out, these are the frames we're looking for. Okay, so technically this one is more of an adaptation of the original graphic novel series, but Scott Pilgrim vs The World is now equally well known and well loved as a Michael Cera movie, so we're counting on it, you know, don't at us. Either way, it did an amazing job of transferring the book's vibrant pop art aesthetic onto the screen, especially now that the whole thing has been remastered with all of its DLC attached too. The game plays like an old school side scrolling brawler, with a love struck Scott battling his way through his girlfriend's seven evil exes. You know the story. The odds might be bad, but he'll get by with a little help from his friends thanks to a co op mode featuring characters like Ramona and Kim. It's the perfect way to rock out and relive classic moments from, as I said, both the graphic novel and the film. Another classic sci fi franchise has had its fair share of gaming adaptations is the Alien series. Alien Isolation returns to the survival horror roots of the original film, and has the player scrambling through air vents and sneaking through the shadows in a desperate attempt to keep out of the way of that pesky xenomorph. This one is a particular favourite of mine because I'm such a big fan of horror games, and Alien Isolation delivers a terrifying sense of dread thanks to its super smart AI for the xenomorph. Add that to an incredibly eerie atmosphere and some recognisable sound effects, it really does feel like you're on the Nostromo yourself, just sadly without Jonesy. Sticking with the old school horror vibes now, Friday the 13th The Game brings Jason Voorhees to Xbox in all his machete wielding glory. This asymmetrical multiplayer game essentially plays more like a grisly version of Among Us, with one player randomly assigned to Jason and all the rest playing as the camp counsellors who he would very much like to <clears throat> introduce himself to. They can all win by working together to escape or just take the killer down, while Jason just has to do what he does best. And for those who just love life behind the hockey mask, Jason also turns up as a playable character in Mortal Kombat X, so there's plenty of ways to play as everyone's favourite killer. Now, there's two Tomb Raiders that spring to mind when you think of movies and video games. And whilst Lara Croft definitely deserves the title in my books and everyone else's, Today, we're focusing on everyone's other favourite explorer. Indiana Jones is one of the silver screen's true Hall of Famers, 
so it's only fitting that his escapades have been immortalised in gaming form. His original Xbox adventure, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, has been lovingly restored for the Xbox One, while the Series X and S's auto HDR makes it pop even more. Which is great because beneath that pretty surface is a super fun third person action game, which really captures the feel of Indy's big screen adventures. Plus, it was actually free to grab as part of Games with Gold for February. And while Indy loves to dig back into the past, the future might be where the real treasure lies. With the brand new Indiana Jones game on its way, courtesy of the newest member of the Xbox Game Studio family, Bethesda. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as we'll be reporting on any news as soon as it drops. There are loads of circumstances where you watch someone do something in a movie and quietly think to yourself, you know, I could do that. And while most of us probably couldn't actually rescue someone from a burning building or, you know, ride a motorbike into a speeding train, we couldn't do a much worse job of running Jurassic Park than they do in the films. Jurassic World Evolution lets you build your own state-of-the-art park, fill it up with whatever ancient beasts you like, and then you do your best to keep the visitors happy and not, you know, eaten. It's currently available on Xbox Game Pass for console and Android, so subscribers can grab it and get building right away. There's also plenty of DLC to add an even larger variety of murderous lizards into your ill-fated tourist trap too. But before we finish this one, we have to ask, what do you call a blind dinosaur? Comments down below, please. The 90s were a great time for Disney movies, with an animated renaissance that saw the release of childhood staples like The Lion King, Aladdin and Mulan and, as a bonus, many of them had pretty great tie-in games too. Two of them, Aladdin and The Lion King, have now been remastered with 1080p visuals that really do justice to that cuter-than-cute Disney art style. Put together in one tidy Disney Classic Games package, they guarantee a dose of pure nostalgia for all 90s kids. But be warned, these side-scrolling platformers are way tougher than their cuddly visuals would suggest. So anyone whose Twitch reflexes aren't really what they used to be could be in for a shock. And Bex, speaking of nostalgia, when Ghostbusters the video game first arrived back in 2009, the response was pretty mental. Not only did it recruit almost all of the main cast to provide their voices and likeness, it used them to extend the Ghostbusters story by picking right up where the second film's narrative left off. Writer and star Dan Aykroyd even described the game as essentially being the third movie in the series, which makes now an ideal time to pick it up given that an actual third movie is on its way soon. It's not just fan service though, the game's proton pack mechanics make for a fun spin on the third person shooter genre and the Xbox One's HD remaster has Bill Murray and co looking better than ever. And saving my personal favourite to last, with its finely tailored style, fascinating underworld and balletic gun fu fight scenes, the John Wick series has quickly built up a huge fan base who cannot wait for their next dose of Keanu Reeves action, all of which has also made it ripe for a video game adaptation. However, rather than trying to directly mirror the cinematic combat of the movies, the clever folks behind John Wick Hex decided to take things in a totally different direction by going for a hyper-stylized cell-shaded art style. And rather than a straightforward shooter, they converted Wick's beautifully brutal fighting style into a grid-based strategy game. It's an outside-the-box approach which really pays off essentially turning the player into the stunt coordinator of their own John Wick adventure. And if it's action you're looking for, remember to let us know down in the comments if you're Team Godzilla or Team Kong after the sneak peek. I made a promise to protect her. He did the same. It's Godzilla. In theaters and on HBO Max this Wednesday, rated PG-13. So there we have it. All that's left to do now is turn down the lights and shout action. Be sure to jump into the comments if we missed out on any of your favorite movie tie-ins and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.